Hello everyone! I'm so excited and I can't hide it. It's Friday. <laughs> yep, it means today is the first time in the while that it's been a weekend. And there are going to be tons of videos and live streams and all kinds of good junk coming up. But, for now, um, we're doing a texture pack review. <laughs> Sorry for that really crazy intro, I was just happy. Um, today it's the Darker Days texture pack. This is a new pack by Master CJ99. On Planet Minecraft is marked as 20% complete because it is not done. It's a 16% pack, a uh, 16-bit texture pack, and yes, it's just pretty much made to make a lot of Minecraft stuff look darker. So if you look in the background, you can see it looks much more gloomy and not fun. Let's just hop into my world. So the leaves do look a bit darker. If you look at the grass, or the the dirt, with the grass on top of it, the dirt, it's like everything's been shaded to another degree of darkness. Like the skeleton skirt. See, look look at this, the wooden planks. Not only is it meant to be more scary, but I think it, even though it's the same bit, it looks a lot like a HD version. We've got the glass here. We've got water, which looks really smooth for a 16-bit pack. Lava, which is epic. Stone bricks and stone slabs are untextured, same as the doors. Uh, push through them. Now we have um, fire, um, boat, and dirt, and that's what dirt looks like. Uh, nothing's been changed there. Close to the ores haven't really been changed except they've got like diamonds a bit darker, coals darker, the backgrounds of them are darker. Lapis hasn't been done yet, but I'll be sure to do another review when this is finished. Uh, bookshelves look darker, as if they're in a medieval library. Uh, the virtual logs are darker, sponge is darker, I've got a world error. <laughs> um, woods and planks, glass again, bricks look epic, uh, dirt, more woods and cobblestone, stone, uh, sorry, stone, cobblestone. Walls have been unchanged except for that one. Um, uh, go over there, so, button. Cool and dark, uh, unchanged. Uh, I don't think the bushes have been changed, nor the cactus, but the sand has been pushed through. <sighs> See, this is the bedrock, this black stuff, by the way. Off redstone, corner redstone. Corner redstone doesn't work very well, to be honest. Uh, pistons unchanged. Uh, all that's unchanged, except for the redstone again. Tripwire, tripwire hooks. Extended pistons. These are the torches. Uh, let's just pop up. Again, all of the mobs have despawned. I don't know why. I'm going to have to fix that. Maybe we'll just put a roof on the top. Do I don't need one of you. Um, yep. Okay, so. Huh. Oh, someone just sent me a thing on. Thing. So I don't think the mobs have been textured. Oop, wrong spot. No. So the mobs haven't been retextured, it's just what I've mentioned before. That's what sand looks like. Um, this does work very well. I think I've got a cave here to show you. Yeah, so that's a bit of a thing. I don't think that endstone's going to be changed, but it's worth taking a look at. Why not? Now, endstone's not changed, neither is obsidian. Uh, uh, Ender dragon won't be changed either. But, um, yeah. So this was just a quick review because... There's not a lot in this pack so far, but when there's more textures, I'll be able to go into more depth. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.